Welcome viewers to the Hiroshima podcast by John Hershey. With me I have my colleagues Will Farr, the expert on Hiroshima, and Caitlin Squires, the historian. So, question number one. Did the bombing on Hiroshima affect the Hiroshima citizens' spirits? And if it did, how did it affect the citizens' spirits? And if it didn't, why not? In the first few chapters, John Hershey shows that the spirit of the Japanese people has been crushed. This is because of the immediate death that occurred from the bombing and the destruction of their home and city. Um, but in the long run, the spirit of the Japanese people is lifted because they come together as one to restore their community and help each other to get life back to normal. Well, from a history perspective, it did crush the people's spirits. Um, the United States' whole motive was to get the Japanese to surrender, and a great way to do so was to crush the people's spirits, and the bomb did that. There were 342 immediate deaths and thousands of deaths later on from the radiation poisoning. The amount of damage done crushed any hope of the Japanese winning World War II. So, question number two. Would the book Hiroshima by John Hershey would have been better if it included a chapter from the Allies point of view of the bombing? You know, Jesse, that's a great question. Many people have asked this question since Hershey published the book. I personally think it would have strengthened the book's uh, cause because when you read the book, you only feel sorry for the Japanese people and think to yourself, why would anyone do this to somebody? But if you include the Allies' perspective, it shows that they did this with a cause. The Japanese had terrorized and fought and killed many of the Allies, so this was brought upon the Japanese by themselves. Action. I agree with Will completely. The book would have been more well-rounded if it had more perspectives than just the Japanese citizens. So, last question. Question number three. How does this book express an anti-war statement without making it an explicit anti-war statement? Hershey is against the war. He doesn't say this outright in the book, but it is obvious because he only depicts the side of the Japanese people to make others feel sorry for him from the devastation that they face from the bombing. Will has a good point. By only telling the Japanese point of view, the reader is faced with the information leading up to the bombing, therefore persuading the reader to be against the war. Okay, that is the end of our discussion. Thank you viewers for watching our podcast, and see you next time.